everyone, welcome back. For those who are new, welcome. I'm Abigail or Abby. I am 25 and autistic and I love talking about autism stuff, so this is where I do that. So I know I had said that my next video will be the book review for all cats are on the autism spectrum, but a big thing happened here in Canada yesterday, so quickly talking about that and the book review will probably be this weekend. So a quick bit of background because even though I'm Canadian, I know that a lot of my audience is not Canadian and I don't know how much our news travels. So in April 2018, a man that I won't bother naming because he wanted the notoriety. If any of you really want to know, it's in pretty much all of the articles I'll have linked in the description, though when I am including specifically because it talks about reasons for not sharing names. Anyway, a man drove a van into a group of people on the Toronto sidewalk, killing 10 and injuring 16 others. It came out afterwards that he was an incel who apparently claimed to have been in contact with Elliot Rogers and he was hoping that this would inspire other similar attacks based on hating women and blaming women for problems. So, um, yeah, a lot of misogyny, and you are probably at this point wondering, what does this have to do with autism? And, well, his lawyer tried to argue that he was not criminally responsible because autism prevented him from developing empathy, which is an actual thing that got argued in the Canadian court system this year, so uh, that's why I'm talking about this. So yesterday we got the verdict. The judge found him guilty. He got convicted on all charges. The terrible autism defense did not get him out of it, thankfully, but because the judge took that defense into consideration, a precedent has now been set in the Canadian court systems for autism being considered as a mental disorder that can impair a person's judgment enough to potentially have them be considered not criminally responsible. And a major disclaimer here, I am not a lawyer, I did not study law, the last law of class I took was in high school, like grade 11 or 12, so um, almost a decade ago at this point I studied drama and German in university. I encourage you to check my sources and do more googling for better full understanding of the exact legal stuff if you really want to know. This is my best simple language understanding of what it really means legally. I'm here to talk more about the impact on autism advocacy and stereotypes and how this can impact the way we get perceived by non-autistics or allistics as we say in the autistic community. And Allistic is the term I'll be using throughout the rest of the video. I am sorry I'm not the best at pronunciation all the time. Um, I've heard both allistic and alistic, but allistic feels more natural for me, so that's what I'll be saying. If you've heard it differently, I apologize. So um, yeah, anyway, this has set a precedent now, even though he was convicted. This can be used as a defense, and it is entirely possible that at some point in the future, someone could be found not criminally responsible because autism. So there are problems with this. First off, autism doesn't prevent people from developing empathy. I've talked about this before. A lot, if not most, of us do have empathy, we just don't display it the same way that allistics do. A lot of us, myself included, also experience hyper-empathy, which it is empathy to the point of being overwhelmed and shutting down because we can't process it. Yes, there are autistic people out there who don't experience empathy, but there are also allistics out there who don't have empathy, so you can't blame autism. That doesn't work. By the same logic, an autistic person can try to find an allistic person not criminally responsible for the same crime because allism prevented the person from developing empathy. Obviously, that would never fly, so why is the reverse something that actually seems like a logical idea? Second, groups like Autism Speaks have demonized us for years. People view us as monsters thanks to that I Am Autism video that they had that made it sound like autism is a horror movie monster out here stealing kids away from their parents, and autism moms posting videos of meltdowns on the internet have people convinced of the worst. The fact is, though, Autistic people and other disabled people are way more likely to be the victims of violent crime than the perpetrators. 
using autism as a defense in a scenario where it makes absolutely zero sense because autism does not prevent you from developing empathy just adds to the stigma and reinforces the idea that we are horrible people and violent monsters when we are really not. Autism does not magically make you not know right from wrong and think that killing people is the answer to your problems. It just means that you experience the world in a different way because of how your brain processes information. I can maybe, maybe see autism being used as a defense if, say, someone accidentally caused harm to another as a result of a meltdown, but even then, that is so unlikely. We're more likely to be self-injurious in meltdowns, and while caretakers do get hit, kicked, and bit when meltdowns happen, that's generally while going in to restrain the person having a meltdown. And certain forms of restraint have literally killed people. I could go off on the whole mental disorder part of this as well, but that feels like too much to impact entirely, so I'll just short form by saying that disorder implies that there is something seriously wrong with our brains. When there's not, we just process information differently. There is nothing wrong with that. And the difference in processing information absolutely does not lead us to think that murder is okay. There is so much wrong with this entire thing. The disability day of mourning was the day before the verdict came out. So many people have been murdered by parents and caretakers. I feel like if he had been found not criminally responsible, that would have just been spitting in the face of everyone who has been killed and hurt as a result of the stereotypes that this attempt at the defense has perpetuated. Autism did not prevent this man from developing empathy and cause the Toronto van attack. Toxic masculinity, misogyny, and spending time in incel forums praising Elliot Rogers did. Autistic people are not unfeeling monsters. We are human. So this was kind of a heavy one, and I have a lot of feelings on this, so thank you to everyone who sat through the whole thing. Book review will definitely be the next video, for real this time, either Saturday or Sunday for sure. Thank you for watching, and I will see you again then. Bye.